So in this video I showed you a free plugin that was capable of making some really cool orchestral and epic drum sounds. And since then this plugin has been updated and in this video I'm showing you everything that is new. There was some confusion in my previous video about how to install this plugin and it not actually being free. So I want to clarify that. This plugin itself is free, but it is an addition to the paid version of Contact by Native Instruments. If you don't have Contact, you can use the free version of Contact as well, but when doing that every 5 minutes or so, the audio will just cut out because you are using a demo version. If you want to use a full version of this plugin without any restrictions, you need to have the full version of Contact by Native Instruments. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. I noticed in the comment section of my previous video that there was some confusion about how to install this plugin. So at the end of this video I will have a tutorial on how to install it. Now let's take a listen to what this plugin sounds like. Okay, so now that you have heard what this plugin sounds like, let's quickly go over all the knobs so you know what everything does and how you can adjust things for yourself. So the first thing that probably jumps out to you is the epicness knob, which is this very big slider that looks a bit like a snare drum. And if you turn it, the lava lights up. And this basically makes the drums more epic as you could hear in the sound demo. Then we also have some effects that we can turn on or off. These are basically reverb effects. We have close, O, I don't know what that stands for, room and hall. Let's take a quick listen and let's try close first. Let's turn on O. Now let's turn on room. And you can obviously combine all these to get a different sound. And then we have Hall. Then on the top in the center here we have different filters. We have a high pass filter, a low pass filter, and then here we have the gain of the mid frequencies. To the right of that is the compressor. We have the threshold, ratio and mix we can adjust. And then now let's take a listen to the epicness knob. So that is it for the updated version of this plugin. Now I will show you how to install it. So first off you want to go to their website which is this one. The link will be in the description. And on here you want to press the download button, then you will have to enter your email address and they will send you a download link. So once that is done, you can open Ableton or your DAW of choice, open Contact by Native Instruments, note that you are using the demo version if you don't have the paid version of Contact, and then on the right here you will see the files. And if you click files you will see all your different hard drives. So I downloaded the folder of this plugin to my E drive, my WD Blue, to my desktop, which is this, and then Splash Sound Percussive Elements, another folder with the same name. Then we go to Instruments, and on here we can see the instruments. We have War Ensemble, which is the one I showcased in this video, but we also have Ethnic Ensemble. Let's open that one as well. Seems like it is glitching out here, but all you have to do to open it is simply double click on it. 
So that is it for this plugin. I hope you liked this video and if so make sure to leave a like to support my channel. And if you have any more questions about this plugin or about anything else make sure to let me know in the comment section down below and I will gladly help you out. If you want to see more by me consider subscribing. I make videos about free plugins, production tips and tricks, tutorials and more. Or you can also go to my website to see what I'm up to which is mattflank.com. Thank you guys for watching, I hope to see you in the next video. My name is Matt Flank, peace out.